Welcome family. I bought this go-kart on Facebook Marketplace. Will it start? Here are my five essential tips for starting a LO206 engine. Essential tip number one, ensure you have fuel. Make sure it's also clean and fresh. If this basic statement doesn't make sense to you, don't worry, I'll explain in more detail. First of all, ensure your fuel tank has fuel in it. Without fuel, go-kart won't start. If you're unsure of if it has fuel, don't worry, I'll help you explain. Usually you're able to find the fuel tank underneath the steering column of the go-kart. Some have it on, some have it behind the driver, but it should be underneath the steering column. Most tanks, most fuel tanks are translucent, meaning you could see through them. So utilize that feature to verify if you have fuel or not in your tank. If you're really unsure, open the cap and take a look inside. If there is no fuel in the tank, then simply top it up with fresh, clean fuel. Most importantly, ensure before storing your cart that you put some fuel stabilizer within the fuel tank. That way, the next season, you can ensure that you have a successful start with the fuel that's in the tank. If you don't do that, then you're gonna have problems with fuel that doesn't have the highest octane, which will give you problems starting in the next season. Tip. Essential tip number two, make sure there's oil in the engine. Make sure there's enough oil in the engine. After checking to make sure there's enough fuel in the cart, you should also ensure that your engine oil level is optimal. So firstly, locate the engine, which is mainly on the right side of your go-kart. Ensure that there's enough oil in the engine. If the oil level is too low, make sure to top it up to its recommended level. Also, check the oil quality. Again, you may have oil, but the condition of the oil may not be beneficial to the healthiness of your engine. Uh, the color gives you an indication of it. If it's a dark brown, it's likely that you need an engine oil change. If it's a nice golden brown, you're probably good to continue attempting to start your engine. If the engine oil, if the engine oil is too dark, it might be wise for us to do an oil change. Make sure you like, dislike, comment, do something. Don't just sit there and watch it. Act, be involved. Get in the game. Comment down below if you'll like us to review the five essential tips for changing your engine oil. Essential tip number three, pulling the starter cord. Now the fun part begins. Once you have ensured that you have enough fuel and that your engine oil is optimal, it's time to find the pull cord. The starter cord is a T handle, normally black, located on the outside of the engine. So grab the pull cord and start pulling until you feel tension coming from the engine. This is the point when you are at high compression or top dead center. This is the point where you're going to pull as hard as you can to start the engine. Again, we're going to pull the cord until we hit the top dead center, which is a hard resistance you'll feel in the cord. If you want me to explain more on the four cycles of the engine, compression, exhaust, intake and power comment down below essential tip number four engine warm-up once you have started the engine it is very crucial that you allow the engine to get to its operating temperature this will allow the engine to be at its optimum performance the engine has reached proper operating temperature once you are able to blip the throttle without the engine stalling out what do i mean by blipping the throttle i mean the ability to increase the RPM quickly and allow it to decrease just as quickly. You're pressing on the accelerator abruptly and you're letting the engine rise and letting it fall just as abruptly. This helps the engine warm up as quickly as possible. You see a lot of pro racers doing this, their, their uh, pit crew, because it allows the racer, the driver, to start pushing the cart immediately because it's up to temperature. It's not going to bog down during a corner. So it's crucial, even though you've started the engine, you need to allow the engine to warm up. You can say about five minutes, but again, blip the throttle and listen to the engine, and the engine will tell you 
when it's warm. Last but not least, essential tip number five. Look around after starting. Once the cart is started and the engine is coming up to temperature, take this moment in time to walk around the cart and inspect for any loose screws, any leaks. And overall, listen to the engine. You should also be listening for irregular sounds and unwanted noises as they can be the discovery of a potential problem. If you hear anything unusual, best practice is to turn the cart off and inspect before you continue. If you have followed the five essential tips to starting your go-kart and your go-kart still hasn't started, then there could be a big potential issue. This issue could be due to the engine, the quality of fuel, the fuel itself, if it's getting fuel, or even bad engine oil or no engine oil. Most of the time, the issues are engine related and the problem can be fixed quite easily. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. Please like, comment down below. Uh, let me know if this is material that you enjoy. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. So you know how to do it on your own.